peeps and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Aquarius for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Wherever you have the aqua placement in your chart, you can apply this to. Before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want for your reading. Now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check me out on Patreon in the description below. I, per I post my personal spells on there, collective spreads, live streams, all of that aqua. So let's get into what's going on with you guys. What is going on with Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know during this time? messages for Aquarius. All right, let's get right into it. So first we have enjoy the journey. So I get this energy of you guys trying to make new plans right now. And I feel like you're trying to make new plans because you're excited or this is like finally a breakthrough where you're feeling more optimistic about life, feeling more optimistic about your circumstances right now. And the universe is like, okay, but also make time to enjoy your journey. Uh, this one says, stay present and flexible. Many changes are going on for you and around you. These changes are not only for the good, but they're also necessary. Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. So I feel like this is a great time for you, Aqua, but I feel like things are going to change even more than they have already. So the universe is like, don't go making new plans. Be more flexible. Make new plans, of course, but um, all the plans that you make during this time, it, it gives me like a retrograde energy. It's like all the plans that you make during this time, be open to them changing and evolving to meet your new path. Because like I said, even, you know, you're not even aware of the half of the stuff that's going to happen hasn't even happened yet, you know, type of vibe. We have connect to source. This is a way that you can also help yourself to be able to plan and things for the future. If you're just more of a planner or you want to plan for things, this will help you connecting to source because you'll start to be able to feel and get downloads and um, intuition, visions, etc. about what's going to happen before it does. So this will help. But it says go within and discover what needs to be done. Create the shift recall required to attract what it is that you want so you know mind body and soul whatever it is that you need to do to bring you what it is that you want go ahead and start on those paths as well clearing the excess uh, you are entering a transitional phase and would benefit from clearing away excess clutter whether it's in your physical body or your physical space yep go ahead and excuse me, cut ties with, you know, any unhealthy habits, any unhealthy behaviors about yourself, any unhealthy people, go ahead and clear the excess. And it doesn't have to be a cutthroat thing where it's like, oh, this is so aggressive and, you know, just extra, um, you know, just in a very matter of fact kind of way, like, huh, this isn't serving me. I'm not going to pay it, you know, as much attention, that kind of thing. I don't get a like an aggressive energy from this process for you guys. So we have distinctive potential. Rely on faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal. So yeah, you guys, the things that you're wanting are coming. You have a lot of potential and it's just one of those times where you don't have to do the most. You can go ahead and work on things, but you don't have to do the most. Don't get in the process of, you know, grinding. You don't have to grind right now, Aqua. Enjoy the journey. You have potential. You're, you know, if you're in a high vibration, you're going to automatically attract what it is that you want. So just allow that, you know, these things to come through and happen for you. You don't have to force things at this time. The universe is saying relax. If you've been push putting a lot of pressure on yourself, if you've made a schedule for yourself and you're really trying to make sure that you, um, 
you know, accomplish everything on the schedule. Just relax though. Like if you have too much on your plate, you guys, you need to maybe adjust that schedule or adjust your priorities. We have a drift in shallow water. Take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice that small things, sorry, it says notice these small things and appreciate them. Yeah, so take time, you know, to appreciate that you have time. Take time to um, appreciate your friends, you know. Reach out to that friend you haven't reached out to in a long time that helped you through, you know, your last phase in your life. Like everyone's, you know, kind of going through some stuff right now and always so make sure you're extending your energy to other people yeah big changes coming for you aquarius where you think you're going to be is not where you're going to be you know and on the first card it said you know changes that are happening for the good and also the necessary so tower ten in reverse what you expect for the future is different from what it's going to be and that's why the universe is just saying relax i'm going to put you where you need to be and it's funny because i was just telling libra about how you know we're not vegetables down here we have free will so if you really want something you do have to make it happen the universe doesn't just plan like the next phase in your life for you or da 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 like a lot of times you have to go after what it is that you want and you guys are getting an opposite message which i was telling libra it's like an exception if the universe just has something planned for you okay take that opportunity honey because the reality of the matter is um you may be out here looking a mess thinking the universe is just gonna hand you something but I see you guys, you know, are lucky. How does it feel to be God's favorite, okay? You're lucky. You're getting blessed. Yeah, I feel like you guys have been um, ignoring yourself. Take some time to pamper yourself. Seriously, it's so important. That's one of the things I want to add and incorporate more into my routine as well. So take some time to nurture and pamper yourself, okay? Yeah. The Ace of Cups in reverse and temperance, I feel like you guys have been so focused on like the grind or so focused on your goals or honestly so focused on other people that you haven't taken the time to really care for yourself. So the universe is saying, I am giving you a space where you can relax, take this opportunity, this moment of relaxation is very much so planned and mm, like a part of the timeline. Like you may feel, you may be looking at your current circum situation like things are stagnant like i've been doing the same thing for xyz amount of you know time and i'm trying and you, you work harder to make things happen the universe is like relax chill things are about to change <laughs> okay okay things are about to change we got the we got the tower ten of wands in reverse uh, page of wands in reverse and the chariot in reverse uh, perspective is so important how you view you know the way things are happening in your life is so important um, I feel like you guys have been assisting in things being slower because of your perspective or it's like a matter of perspective and what you focus on so maybe you're you're focusing on you know, not having the next thing in your life be here yet when really you could have been relaxing this entire time. It's kind of like sometimes like the other day I really wanted to work <laughs> and I spent all day being mean to myself for not getting off my behind and working that I didn't even get to enjoy the day. Like you still did nothing with the day and you could have enjoyed it. But now instead you feel like a, you know, piece of crap because you didn't do anything. When you could have just enjoyed the day and said, you know what, I'm just gonna chill. Like, I don't feel like doing it. I'm not gonna force myself to do it. But instead, that day was miserable and I still don't feel like I had a day off, you know, <laughs> type type stuff, you know, just as an example. So yeah, you guys appreciate this time. Perspective is important. How you look at the situation, your circumstances does make a difference because if I would have looked at this as, oh, this is my chill day, I would have had a lot more fun because the outcome is still exactly the same. But my perspective made me feel, you know, lazy and da 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 da. So you guys get it. Fool, Eight of Swords. Yeah, things are happening on your behalf, you guys. I feel like it's going to be for the better, too. I was almost reluctant to say that, but changes are definitely happening for the better. Some necessary stuff happening, too. So be flexible, be open to the process, be open to what the universe is doing in your life right now. I just heard reveal something. The universe is trying to reveal something to you. I just want to be appreciated. 
We got the Six of Cups in reverse and the Devil in reverse, which is why I just said that, because the universe is going to reveal that someone knows that they're not doing as much as they could to have a more stable connection with you, have a more friend, better friendship with you. You know, you may constantly reach out to certain people, plan certain things with your friends, and they just never do that for you. Or you're always there to help that coworker when they get in the weeds, if you've ever worked at like a restaurant, or whenever they, you know, have too much on their plate, you always come to help them, but they never check for if you're in the weeds or if you need some help. Or when a relationship, like the universe is about to reveal to you that someone knows that they haven't put in as much as they, as they could, okay? bottom of the deck we got the eight of wands things are about to be moving pretty fast for you guys so just be flexible to the changes happening in your life okay let's see what else is going on perspective you guys we have worth waiting for and very soon if we just took worth waiting for and looked at that on its own you know you may have gotten frustrated like okay but like when is it gonna come through worth waiting for I don't want to hear that I want to know that my partner is gonna get here and the universe is like they're still coming anyway worth waiting for is not a bad thing aqua i feel like perspective is going to be very important for you guys this week you know do your very best to see the other side of something and i don't mean see someone else's side i mean see other factors around the situation like it's not about saying Ugh. i hope you guys get what i'm saying it's like if you're having relationship trouble with someone it's not about necessarily seeing their perspective it's about seeing how else you benefit from the situation Divine timing is at work in your love life is what it says at the bottom of worth waiting for, which, like I said, to Libra or Gemini, I don't know, one of them, who cares? It's a rarity, you know? You guys, I'm telling you, you're the chosen ones. <laughs> Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So the universe is also, also telling you, get in alignment, know what it is that you want so you can attract that towards you once the time is ready. But it's happening very soon regardless, you know? So hopefully that gives you the, you know, the confidence, the comfortability that you need to now um, readjust your focus on your priorities, readjust your perspective, knowing that what you want is coming. Um, hopefully that helps. <laughs> we have deception, honeymoon, and express your love. The bottom of verse, express your love, it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. If there's someone that you've been crushing on big time, I mean, listen... We could be gone tomorrow, okay? See what's good. Like, what's popping? Like, is you trying to date or what? <laughs> you know? Express your love. Allow yourself to um, engage in a connection. If someone really likes you, you know, see what they're talking about. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. The universe wants more fun into your life as well during this time, Aqua. And then we have Deception. I almost want to clarify this with a tarot card or something. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Oh, no, 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 no. We already talked about that. I forgot. We had the devil and then the six of cups in reverse. So this is talking about that. The universe is revealing that person that knows that they could be putting more into, like I said, a love connection, um, but like isn't. All right. Let's see what else is going on for Aqua. Yeah, look at this. We got such bright cards for you guys. There's just so much. There's so much for you guys. So much waiting for you guys. And it's coming very soon. You have to expect it. You have to let it in. You know? Light and hope. There's hope for your current situation. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. And um, everything will be illuminated as well in due time. Don't feel like you have to suss people out, have conversations with people, and people be lying anyway, Aqua. Like, don't even bother, especially since we got the information that the universe is going to reveal something to you. Allow that to happen. Don't even bother trying to force a communicate, you know, a, someone to communicate what they've done to you. Just allow the universe to handle it and show you. Don't try to force a communication with someone that's just going to enable you to be stuck in a situation for longer. Like, wait for the universe to come through with the illumination so you can see what it really is and get the truth. 
Uh, and then we got sacrifice and spiritual union, you guys. Yeah, higher level of commitment. Like I see, I see a higher level um, romantic situation for you guys. Spiritual union. This can also be you coming into union with yourself by balancing those masculine and feminine energies and acknowledging both them both the same, giving them both as much credit for where you are. And it's a bit of a sacrifice, you know, doing shadow work is not fun. Looking within into your subconscious, oh my goodness, like sometimes it really just, it, it can be disturbing, it can be not fun, okay? But it is very much so necessary. Wow, yeah. Patience is a huge thing for you guys. Patience and perspective we have patience and harmony you guys you're coming into harmony you're coming into union seriously with a romantic partner and if you're already in a romantic situation it's about to get deeper you guys are going further into the connection you're getting to know each other better understanding each other better having like deep conversations really falling in love like again or falling in true love. Maybe before it was just like, okay, you check these boxes for me. I check these boxes for you. We make sense, but you guys never push past the surface level. You're going to be pushing past that surface. Um, but yeah, we have patience and harmony. So you're going to have to have patience. You're in a sacrificial period where you're doing the, you know, the dirty work, the shadow work um, to get your mind right. But you're getting what you want, what you need out of this situation, you guys. <clears throat> I just heard acceptance, okay. Acceptance, is it gonna be important too? I love when they flip like that. <laughs> All right, so we have new beginnings and standstill. So I feel like, like I said before, like I explained, you know what that example is, just truly a matter of perspective, okay? You may feel like you're at a standstill, but really, things have already begun, you know? Things have already begun. Things have already begun to change, and um, honestly, it feels like big, big things are happening for you guys. Like, I feel like something big coming for you guys. We have inner peace and embracing, so you are going to have to make peace with who you truly are. <clears throat> make inner peace, um, you know, have inner peace about the patience that you have to have, of the timeline of everything. Acceptance is going to be very important. And embrace it. Embrace your new life. Embrace the timeline and embrace what is to come. And yeah, Akko, that was your message this week. So DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want for your reading. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check me out on Patreon as well in the description below. I post my personal spells, live streams, collective spreads on there, all sorts of content on there. And I love you, Aqua. I love you, Aquarius. Be careful what you wish for, okay? And I will see you in the next one. Bye.